Kevin and Marina Krim have had two sons since the horrible fall day in October of 2012, when the woman they hired to care for their children killed two of them with a kitchen knife inside their Upper West Side home. On Facebook, they spoke about having to relive the nightmare in court. We're going to handle this the way we've handled everything. Today, Marina Krim was the first to take the stand in the murder trial of Yoselin Ortega. Visibly shaking and struggling with grief and anger, she lashed out at the nanny accused of killing her six year old daughter, Lucia, who she called Lulu, and two year old son, Leo. Fighting back tears, Krim described in heartbreaking detail how she realized something was terribly wrong when she went to pick up Lulu from ballet class and she wasn't there. She rushed to their Upper West Side home with her three year old daughter, Nessie. Hand in hand, they made the horrific discovery inside their bathroom. It's like a total horror movie. I walk down the hall and I see the light on under the door. I see Lulu. I knew that she was dead. She's lying in the bathtub and her eyes are open. I see Leo next to her. They had blood on them. Then I see the defendant, blood all over her and eyes bugging out. All I remember saying to her is, I hate you. These are the undisputed facts in this case. The defendant intentionally murdered Lulu and Leo Krim on October 25th, 2012. That she knew what she was doing when she killed them and that she knew that killing them was wrong. Prosecutors described the children's wounds in painfully graphic detail. They claim Ortega was angry at the Crims for overworking her and was resentful of Marina for being able to provide for her children in a way she could not. The defense says the 55-year-old caregiver was suffering from mental illness and was unaware of the consequences of her actions. The evidence will show that she has a corroborated history of hearing voices and dissociating from reality since the age of 16. We saw jurors in tears as they left the courtroom after hearing Marina Krim's heartbreaking testimony. The defendant, Yoselin Ortega, remained emotionless throughout the entire hearing. The trial is expected to last at least three months. Outside criminal court in lower Manhattan, Hazel Sanchez, CBS 2 News. And the mother, Marina Krim, will be back on the witness stand tomorrow.